Edgar reading cyber dogs and citizens of the interwebs. This is Ren Diggity Dog, aka Krunk the Caveman, coming at you in episode 18 of this Let's Play Sev Tech Survival series. Welcome back, my friends, to a magnificent savannah biome. Pretty close to Krunk Island right now, actually. What is going on here? Something is attacking the... Oh, the horses! There's a wolf over here! No! You stupid wolf! Oi! We're here for a reason! We're here to get animals! I'll save you! I'll save you! No! You silly, silly dog, you! R.I.P. Equestrian! That is a rather brutal way to kick off today's episode. At least we got another wolf pelt that we're going to be able to use to complete our set of wolf armor. Oh no! The little baby horse just lost his mama! I'm so sorry, my dude. That is absolutely tragic. Is there any way that we can get you back home? We might have to use this lead over here. This looks like a horse that we're going to need to adapt, r adopt, rather, right? Considering she just watched her mama get murdered in cold blood. Oh, my goodness. Hello, parrot. What's up? Oh, this parrot wants to adopt the horse? Well, we could probably make that happen. This is actually a great opportunity right here, guys, to kick things off in today's episode. <laughs> Because in today's episode, we are going to be tackling the Totemic Mod Pack. And the reason that we need to do that is we are trying to complete the Flame Grilled Goodness achievement here in the uh, Save Tech Ages tutorial. To do that, we need Buffalo Teeth. And the only way we can get Buffalo Teeth is by summoning buffaloes via a very interesting ritual that we have to do in the Totemic Mod Pack. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get to that... Man, I've been reading some of the comments from the earlier episodes of SevTech, and i got a facepalm to do with you guys right now. You ready? Three, two, one. Freaking facepalm. That parrot definitely wants to join us, doesn't he? <laughs> He's so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, at some point in the series, we actually dragged a chicken to Krunk Island, and that chicken is now pooping out eggs for us. But a lot of you guys let me know in the comments of previous episodes, there's a much easier way to transport um, animals in Save Tech, and all you got to do is hold down left shift and right click and as you can see you can pick animals up which is amazing so uh, it looks like we'll be able to transport two animals here the little horse and the parrot but that's not exactly why I came out here the reason that I came out here was to get myself a couple of cows because the only way that we are going to be able to get into the Totemic Mod Pack is by getting some cows onto Krunk Island. I know it sounds absolutely crazy, guys, but it is going to be really, really sweet. I suggest you go get yourself a tasty beverage, something crunchy to sip on. We have got some very interesting things to do in today's SevTech uh, F survival episode. And we're kicking things off by dragging a baby horse who just lost her mama and a parrot all the way back to Krunk Island. And I'll probably get a couple of cows over there too. It's going to be awesome, my dude. Sit back and relax. It's crunk time, baby. What in the name of all that is holy is that? Just stumbled across a disgusting looking rat thing. <laughs> That's absolutely revolting if I do say so myself. Come on, parrot and horse. Let's get ourselves out of here, man. That's really gross. By the way, save tech is pretty cool. As you progress in the pack, new mobs and stuff start to spawn. And that's the first time that we've seen a rat in the series. <laughs> <laughs> kind of disgusting. I don't know if a rat can actually be used for anything, but that's kind of cool, right? Starting to see some new things spawn around our world. Very, very interesting. <laughs> well, that certainly is an interesting turn of events, guys. Our baby horse has just grown up into a full-sized horse. It's taken us so long to get back to Crunk Island that she's now a full-grown equestrian beast. And that has just triggered something in my brain. Guys, listen, okay? It's early in the morning. Crunk is still waking up. <laughs> And it's taken me quite a long time to get back to Crunk Island. And I did a little bit of a detour there, despite having my map available in the top right-hand corner. But this is really good news. Now we have another fully grown horse, which means we can put this horse to work in the automatic machines that we started working on last episode. We're currently using Smokey to chop wood, but we've got a brand new horse here on the island. And uh, that's actually amazing. We can set up another one of these horse-powered machines now once we tame her. And that's really, really cool news. However, before we could do any of that, of course, the most important thing is that we figure out a name for these new animals that we have brought to Crunk Island. I named Smokey. This time around, I'm going to let you guys name our horse and our parrot. So please get your names in the comment section below. What should we call this beautiful parrot and our brand new horse? Look how happy she is that she's here. Oh my goodness. Is Smokey giving her the, the smoky eyes? Oh man. Horse ladies get in line. 
We got some love going on over here, man. Smokey's super happy to see her. Shall we introduce them? I think maybe she's a little bit nervous. Um, horse, meet Smokey. Smokey, meet horse. Um, please don't be mean to her, okay? She literally lost her mama about five minutes ago. All right, Smokey, my dude? Take very good care of her. Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> oh, man. On top of that, we got a parrot back. We actually were going to find a parrot and bring the parrot back at some point and well managed to do that today let's unleash the parrot upon crunk island <laughs> welcome to crunk island parrot and horse very nice to have you guys here en enjoy your stay and beware of the piranhas <laughs> guys i just spotted a black bear in the depths of these woods over here and that's actually really good news we are currently trying to collect bear claws to make ourselves a brand new weapon this means, of course, that Krunk is going to have to smash the bear. And hopefully, <laughs> we're not going to get murdered by this thing. Oh, that's a perfect position. Bear, you have positioned yourself very, very badly. Thank you very much for your claws. How many did we get there? Two claws out of that bear. Very good. Also, there, there are two cows up here, which is exactly what we need. Beautiful. Are there any other wolves or any other uh, bears in the vicinity? Oh, there's another one. Amazing. This is actually going to be enough bear claws for us to make our brand new bear claw weapon. Nice. We've got four bear claws out of that. And now we can try to do the same thing that we did with the parrot, but this time do it with a cow. Uh, we'll pick one cow up and lead another cow, and that should give us two cows back for Crunk Island. Oh, there's another bear down here, guys. Excellent. I don't think we actually need more bear claws, but we might as well get as many bear claws in the belly as possible. Rip bear. That was quite a brutal way to die. At, at least it was quick, right? Also, there's a little village thing down here, which is kind of exciting. Uh, no villager, though. But what the heck is going on over here? What is this? This is very cool. Is this some sort of a barrel or something? Hang on. Can we open this? If we write, can we pick it up? We can't pick that up. This looks like wood supplies or something. Hang on. If we axe this, what happens? Okay, that gives us a whole bunch of sticks. It looks to be like a pile of sticks, I suppose. And this looks to be a pile of logs. What is this? Oak log stack. Ooh, berry and dirt or similar block, it says. I have no idea what that's about, but that seems very interesting. Shall we collect these? Yeah, maybe we can fiddle around with those later on. Um, but yeah, rip bear. <laughs> Thanks for the claws, guys. Uh, and all we need to do now is drag a couple of cows back to Crunk Island. And I think there were a couple of cows up here, weren't there? Um, yeah, they were hanging out near those bears for some reason. <laughs> Easy bear food. I've saved your lives, cows. <laughs> How do you feel about that, man? Crunk rescue. The bovine. Oh my goodness, look at this. I could actually pick up a cow. The only problem is the cow's butt is literally in my face. <laughs> Which is absolutely disgusting. Also, I cannot see anything right now. Oh, and it looks like I'm not able to use the lead while I've got the cow in my hand. However, maybe we can put the lead in the off hand. Will that work? Let's try to pick this cow up. No, okay, so I'm going to have to do one cow at a time. Another wolf in the woods, guys. And that means we're going to have to plonk the cow down for a second and try to take this wolf out. I'm pretty sure we're quite close to having enough wolf pelts to make at least one piece of wolf armor. That's pretty cool. Yo, cow, dude, do not run away, man. I need you. Did I drop my bone? Yo, cow, get back into my uh, face. We need to get back to Crunk Island. Jeez, my dudes, this cow has eaten all the freaking pies, man. This thing is super heavy. We got a piranha coming in also. Oh no, this is worst case scenario. Piranha nipping at my butt while I'm carrying a cow. I mean, only in SevTech, am I right? Piranha, seriously, dude, you need to back the freak up. <laughs> cow is safe and sound. Yo, Smokey, check it out. Got yourself, got you a new friend over here. This is called a cow. Uh, you two don't seem to be getting along though. Oh, the piranha went for the, the piranha's going for the parrot. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Okay, listen, little parrot, my dude. It is way too unsafe for you out here. I think you belong in, in uh, the Crunk Cave. We can't leave you out here, man. A piranha's gonna eat your cute little butt. This is your new home. Stay. <laughs> All right. Managed to get bovine number two back to Crunk Island with very little incident. And the two cows can now be friends. I think probably the smart thing to do here is try to breed them, right? Try to get another little cow baby over here. So maybe what we need to do is get ourselves a little bit of wheat. I'm assuming that cows still breed with wheat. Let's have a look. Is this cow going to follow me? Yes, he is. All right, let's get these two uh, getting busy, getting busy over here on Krug Island. Some for you, some for you. A couple of kisses and 
Kaplam, baby cow, beautiful. All right, so three cows have been obtained, which is good stuff. And if I understand the totemic mod pack correctly, we are going to be basically magically transforming these cows into buffaloes somehow. And that's going to be kind of interesting. Oh, and check it out, guys. I found something pretty cool on the way back while I was transporting these cows. <laughs> I found a flower called a Venus flytrap which is pretty sweet. I don't actually know what these things do, but I had a look at them in the NEI, and apparently if we have enough of these things, we can make something called a Darkosto Traposto. <laughs> Traposto, I didn't even know how to say that, but that looks really cool. And I'm not entirely sure if we can actually grow more of these things or if they grow naturally. Yo, horse, are you okay over there? <laughs> I know you're happy, but take it easy, man. Jeez. Uh, can we bone meal these things? No, we can't. Okay, so maybe uh, we need to try and find a few more of these Venus fly traps. Maybe they propagate on their own. I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely want to try and make that Darkosto Traposto thing. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, before we get distracted by other things in SevTech, as always happens, let's get ourselves smack bang into the Totemic Mod Pack. Hello, guys. Oh, the mm. parrot and the baby cow have found each other. They're friends now. That is just too adorable for words. Uh, also, Parrot, please, dude, you need to stay inside of the cave. I know it's a little bit musty in there, but come on, man. You know it's unsafe out here in the open. Uh, I want to put my piles of wood somewhere here, too. Um, let's do a, a little bit of a wood stockpile over there. That's pretty cool. Crunk brain grow! Crunk figure something out! <laughs> Guys, I just figured out that I take damage when I walk into these Venus flytraps. That's, that does not bode well for our animals on Crunk Island, so this is an absolutely terrible idea, putting these uh, these fly traps over here. Let's hold on to those for now and try find some more of them in the wild. This place is turning into some sort of Dr. Doolittle fantasy animal park, though, guys. There are so many creatures around here now. Oh, maybe it's time to turn friendly creature sounds down. Crunk, learn music. A hoogada, boogada, hoogada, boogada. <laughs> Is that the way that caveman music sounds? I have no idea, guys. <laughs> what do you think about my beautiful dress, by the way? I'm looking snazzy, aren't I? That cow approves. Um, my friends, it has been an absolutely insane day for old Crunk. Uh, in fact, it's been an insane couple of days. It's about three days or so since I recorded the last uh, segment for today's episode. And that's because the Totemic Mod Pack turned out to be a lot more complicated than I originally anticipated. <laughs> Looks like Smokey just got himself a new friend over there, isn't that cute? Um, but yeah, Totemic Mod Pack, that's what we're trying to do today, guys. We are trying to summon forth a buffalo, and you know what? It's actually more difficult than it seems. First and foremost, let's crack open the Totempedia. This book tells you everything that you need to know about the Totemic Mod Pack. I used this book to have a look at some of the things that I need to make for myself over here. And the first thing that I looked at was the Totemic Staff. And to make the Totemic Staff, we need, well, this recipe is actually wrong. We need, uh, well, something called a sunflower, which you guys will know what that is. I scoured the lands for about four hours trying to find a sunflower, and I didn't find any sunflower anywhere. I explored thousands of blocks, didn't find a sunflower. It was ridiculously frustrating, so I took a little bit of a break from SevTech. Uh, I did manage to get all of these flowers over here, though, which is pretty cool, right? Look at this, man. I got a bit of a flower collection going on over here for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but I had to take a little bit of a break after that because I couldn't find the freaking sunflower. Uh, in the days that have passed, I've done a little bit more research into the Totemic Mod Pack. Turns out we don't actually need that staff for now. Uh, but there are a couple of other things that we need to do the ceremony that we're going to do today. So basically, the Totempedia tells us all about these different things. And most importantly, it tells us about ceremonies. And the whole idea of the Totemic Mod Pack is that we will literally do ceremonies using music musical instruments to summon forth different things. One of those things is going to be a buffalo. We are going to be able to transform a cow into a buffalo. Now, in order to do that, we have to do something called the buffalo dance. And the buffalo dance, as you can see, requires a certain amount of melody to actually trigger the transformation of a cow into a buffalo. And at the minimum, we need a totemus drum and a wind chime. And these are the instruments that we can make here in the Totemic Mod Pack. I'm going to plonk the drum over here, I think and uh, let's put the wind chime up here in the tree. Now, if we right-click on this, you can see that it's actually making some music over here. 
<laughs> which is awesome. And of course, we have this rattle, which we can right click to make music. And we have got a little something something around my waist right now called the jingle dress. And the jingle dress is made out of things called jingles, which are made out of bones and sugar canes and a little bit of string. And as you can see in my body, as I walk around, that dress is jingling. So between all of these instruments, we are going to be able to make a res an insane amount of noise. Looks like the cow's liking the sound of it up here. Hey, what's up, cow? What's cracking, my dude? Um, and if we do this correctly, guys, we will be able to transform this cow into a buffalo. I've actually been breeding these cows on Crunk Island. I think there's about four or five of them wandering around the place, which is good. But for now, we're just going to start with one cow. Uh, and by the way, to make all of these instruments is fairly easy. They're kind of simple re um, recipes. This needs a stick and a jingle uh, for the rattle. And the jingle is made out of bones and sugar canes. Of course, we get bones from our fishing farm. We've got sugar canes growing. Uh, what else did I make? Oh, yeah, the drum is pretty easy to make too. Hold on. Let me just get that pulled up for you here. Just some planks and some leather. Very easy to make. And the wind chime is also pretty easy. Actually, a really cool recipe. Some sticks, a bit of flint, uh, some string and some sugar canes and the bones sort of bashing against those hollow sugar canes, right, to make the wind chime action. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, there is one more instrument that I would like to make though and for that we're going to have to do a little bit of crafting. We're going to need to make the flute with sugar canes and some grass. Unfortunately we can't really just pick grass up. Much like in vanilla Minecraft we are going to need some shears to pick up uh, the grass and to make the shears we're going to need to go to back to the good old-fashioned flint and uh, we're going to make ourselves a flint shear over here. Let's just crunk smash that out of there. There we go. And theoretically, we should be able to chop a little bit of grass over here. I haven't actually tried this, so this might derp up. Uh, here's a piece of grass. Can we cut this piece of grass? That... Oh, it did work. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Krunk just picked it up so fast, I didn't even notice that. Uh, by the way, I've got some other good news. In the mission to find the stupid sunflower, I managed to kill an insane amount of wolves. And I think we probably have enough wolf pelts now to make ourselves a full set of wolf armor, uh, which is actually kind of exciting. There we go, we just made the flute now too. Uh, speaking of which, I think to complete the look of our Krunk ritual dancer right now, Maybe we should make for ourselves the wolf hat, which I believe is made like this. Um, I think it's like this. We need a wolf head and a whole bunch of pelts. Yeah, I think it's like this. This will be pretty cool, man, if we can make ourselves a wolf hat. Let me see if I can remember this recipe correctly. I think it's like this. We might need a little bit more wolf pelts. No, there we go. Okay, that's so awesome. <laughs> yes. Look at this, dudes. Oh, that is the best. We are going to be summering forth a buffalo. <laughs> Looking like an absolute caveman maniac right now. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so I think we now have everything that we need. Let's put the flute uh, over here and let's see how this works. Oh, there we go. Look at this. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, man, the Totemic Mod Pack is so sweet. Okay, so now we have an insane amount of instruments. We got the flute, we got the rattle, we got the jingles, we got the drum, and we have the wind chimes. That should be able to produce enough melody to perform this ritual um and well what the freak just happened here we got another totempedia from making the flutes okay well that's a way to get a free totempedia that's pretty good by the way to make the totempedia is pretty easy you just need a sapling and some plant cloth um but yeah this is it we're gonna summon forth the buffalo how do we actually do this let's have a look here uh basics of ceremonies ceremonies is a way for a totemist to gather strength over a period of time uh, the center of the ceremony is a totem base, and it is always where the, the effects of a ceremony are released from. Okay, so we need a totem base in order to start our ceremony. And to make a totem base, I think we need some logs and this thing called a totem whittling knife, which is pretty easy to make. I think it's just some sticks and a little bit of flake flint. Yeah, pretty easy to make. Man, those cows are super excited to get transformed into buffaloes up there, right? I'm hoping that we can actually breed buffaloes too, uh, so that, that we don't have to keep doing the ritual. That would be very useful. But uh, yeah, we need to make the totem base. So I guess we'll make the totem base over here. And what we're going to do is use the totem whittling knife. We hold shift and mouse wheel up and down. And you can see we get different settings. We'll play around with this in the next episode. Uh, but what we want to do is get to the base. There we go. Totem base. Now let's right click on that. There we go. Now we've got the totem base going on over here, right? Looks like the wind chime is going absolutely insane around here. And I think this is just how we do this now. Uh, hello, parrot. What's up, man? You having a chat with that cow? 
Let's get this cow up here, I think. Man, I wish I could attach this lead to something around here. Nothing nothing can be attached, but that's fine. Cow, you just stay here for now, okay? Um, I think what we just need to do now is start doing this, making a whole bunch of noise. Is this how this is working? <laughs> This parrot is just loving bovine right now for some reason. It's so cute, man. I love this parrot. Um, guys, I have reviewed the Totempedia, and hi, we've got a very active audience right now. I think I have worked out exactly how to get the ceremony started, right? So what we need to do is have a look at the ceremony that we want to do. In this case, it's going to be the buffalo dance. And uh, we can see here that the buffalo dance starts with a totemus drum and a wind chime. And I think the way that we do this is we hold shift, right? So we duck um, or we crouch and then we start hitting the different things. And there we go. You can see we've started the buffalo ceremony. Let's make as much noise as possible, as much melody as possible. Jingle jangle around the place. There we go. Hit the drums, hit the wind chimes. Oh my goodness. Uh, it, uh, you can see that the melody at the top there, right, needs to catch up with the timer below. And I don't think we're making enough noise over here, guys. We just need to play all the instruments. Oh, no. Okay, so we failed the first time around. <laughs> okay, Buffalo Ceremony, take two. Kronk, learn, play instruments. <laughs> Been fiddling around with a little bit with the instruments here, guys. And I think I've found a fairly decent way for us to create enough melody to catch up with the timer of the ceremony. Put the rattle in my main hand, the flute in the off hand. And if I right click, it plays both of those instruments at the same time. Then if we jump up and down, our uh, dress will also make instruments and we can left click on that drum to make even more noise, right? So with this in mind, let's try the ceremony one more time. We've got to hold down shift, hit the drum and there we go, right of spring. No, that's not the right one, but we can try and, and get this going. There we go, look at this. Uh, we are now catching up with the timer. We're doing the wrong ritual, unfortunately, but we might make this happen. Did that work? I don't actually know what that does. I think that increases the growth rates of stuff around us, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I kind of want to reset this now. Oh, jeez. Oh, the rite of spring makes animals and stuff breed? Those cows just got busy getting busy from that ritual, man. Crunk make love music. <laughs> Wow, that was kind of weird. Uh, well, we got another baby cow on the island, which is good. Let's see if we can get the buffalo dance ritual fired up by going drum first and then wind, wind chime. And there we go, guys. Buffalo dance and the buffalo dance has started. Crunk make music. A hugger, 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 a hugger. And is this working? I think it is. I think we're going to make a buffalo here, dudes. Buffalo! We did it! Oh, that's so awesome! Oh, we made multiple buffaloes! That's amazing! Okay, welcome to Crunk Island Buffaloes! Look how derpy they are! That's the most insane amount of derp that I've ever seen in my life! Dude, look at his face! Oh, that's amazing! Now, we can actually use these buffaloes in many interesting ways, I think. One of you guys let me know that we can actually use buffaloes instead of horses for our uh, machines over here and we can start getting Smokey back into the task of exploring. Let's have a look. Can we actually collect the buffalo to the chopper? Yes, we can. Smokey, my dude, you're free. You can now spend some quality time with your new lady friend. I see you two are getting acquainted over here, uh, which is pretty awesome. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Oh, this is such an amazing day on Crunk Island, guys. Absolutely beautiful. We got another cow over here, which I would like to transform into a buffalo. So I tell you what, let's do one more little dance here. I wonder if we can... Yeah, we can even just do this with the rattle only. We didn't even need the flute. We're going to make one more buffalo for Crunk Island, and we can then start breeding buffaloes out here. And of course, the whole reason that we started this crazy ritual in the first place was to get buffalo teeth. Oh, look at that. No, no, no. Get out of there. No, Buffalo. Dude, you're trapped. You're trapped. No, no, no. Stop taking damage. No, Buffalo, please. Okay, he, he survived. No! Rip. Oh, Rip, Buffalo. I think he got trapped in the block over here. No, first Buffalo tragedy of Crunk Island. <laughs> the great news is, though, guys, we are now going to be able to breed Buffaloes, get Buffalo teeth, and make the machine required to create shadow gems so that we can finally, after all of this time, make the flame grilled whopper and proceed out of the tutorial age. 
of same tech. <laughs> My dudes, that's going to do it for today's episode, man. Crunk is all musicked out like nobody's business. Hope you enjoy the episode. <laughs> and we'll smell you all in the next one. Now, hugga da bugga da, hugga da bugga da, hugga da bugga da, hugga da bugga da.